I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to our series on previous test papers review. Here is another question based on trigonometric inverse functions. If cot of sine inverse square root of 13 over 16 is equal to sine of tan inverse x, then x is what? Four choices are given to you. Right? So uh, let us copy the question first. We have cot of sine inverse square root of 13 over 17 both are within square roots equals to sine of tan inverse x right so the standard method which we should be following is using the expression in the bracket we can form our triangle so this gives you a triangle whose sides are what sine let's say let's say this whole value is y right so we can write this as y in that case sine is opposite over hypotenuse so we get square root of 13 here and square root of 17 there right this side will be square of these minus so this side will be square root of 17 square minus square root of 13 square square root correct which is 17 minus 13, 4 square root is 2. So we get 2 as this particular side. Right? So once we get that, now from here, we can also write this as cot of y, cot inverse of what? Right? So, so we could write this as cot of, if you see the cot value, it will be 2 over square root 13, right? So we can say this is cot of cot inverse, 2 over square root 13. Is that clear? So that is what we get. And when you open this up, cot of cot inverse 2 over 13, the left side is 2 over square root 13 for you. Is that clear, right? So that is how we get our left side. Now let's work on the right hand side tan inverse x. So tan inverse x means, let's say this angle is z. In that case, tan is x and this is 1 and this is x squared plus 1 square root. Clear? So now looking into this, we can say that the right side basically is, let's write equal to in between because these are the two sides we're working with, sine of now, in this particular diagram, what is sine of z? That is what we are looking for, right? So, we say let this be z, right? Let this be z. In that case, what is sine of z equals to? So, that we could write this as sine inverse of sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, it gives you x over square root of x square plus 1. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now, that means that the right side is equal to x over square root of x square plus 1. So, that is how we actually get our equations. Now, once we have an equation here, we can solve. So, that is a critical part. I hope you have understood these steps. So, any inverse of inverse function kind of as we have here, you have to somehow get your triangles and then work it out and now what we need to do is cross multiply and simplify so in first step uh, okay let's cross multiply so what we get here is two times square root of x square plus one equals to x times square root of 30. to get rid of uh, square root let's square it so we get four times x square plus one equals to 13x open the bracket 4, 13x squared, sorry. So when you square, this becomes square. So we get 4x squared plus 1 equals to 13x squared. Taking this on the right side, we get 1 equals to 13x squared minus 4x squared. Or 1 equals to 9x squared. Sorry, when you open this, uh, this is not 1 but, uh, but 4, right? You have to multiply with 4, both of them. Correct, sorry. So it is 4. 4 times... When you do this, you have to multiply with 4 both the terms, right? So you get 4. Now you divide by 9, you get x squared. 
and x will be square root of 4 over 9, which gives you the option 2 over 3. So option D is the right option for you. Perfect. So that is how you should be solving such questions. So once again, the idea here is to start from inside function, make your triangle, write it as inverse of whatever is outside, and then it is easier for you to simplify, right? Then it's kind of solving a rational equation. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.